I want to get into this dramatic decline of testosterone that's been happening since the 1960s. Now, this is a major problem because low testosterone decreases lifespan in men. And so it literally shortens your life. Low testosterone has also been linked to heart disease, cancer, diabetes. It's also been linked to weaker bones and smaller muscles, which causes you to age more quickly. It's also been linked to low libido. It's been linked to a number of other issues like low self-esteem and lack of motivation. So having low testosterone is incredibly harmful to men. Now, I do want to mention uh, there is a cultural discussion today going on around masculinity that, hey, maybe you know masculinity isn't good and 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 even testosterone isn't good in many ways. The reality is, though, is that we want men with high testosterone and we want masculine men. You know, masculinity can be positive, especially when it's when it's connected to virtue. You know, when masculinity is partnered with and those masculine virtues we could talk about, such as most of the time masculine virtues are considered uh, justice, courage, bravery, honor, respect, self-discipline. And combined with feminine virtues like nurture and empathy and kindness and grace and love, when those are combined together, it, it, it heals, it builds, it saves. And so we really want to have manly men, masculine men, men with high testosterone levels, because it's not only for reproduction, which is incredibly important to us as a species, but it's also very important for us making the world a heavenly place. If we want to make this place a place where everyone's needs are met, everyone is operating in their greatest giftings, everyone is operating in the highest level of character, we want masculine men and we want testosterone levels to be higher and again if we want men to live if we actually want them to live and not die if we if we want to uh have good rates of fertility in 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 birth rates for men and women well we want men to have higher levels of testosterone listen to this study this is mind-blowing men with low testosterone levels had an 88 percent increase in a risk of death compared with those who had normal levels do you hear that if you're a male or you're married to a man or dating a man and they have low testosterone they have an 88 percent increase in dying compared to men with normal levels. And the effect persisted even after such variables as age, other illnesses, and body mass index were controlled. So this isn't a fluke. Generally, men are nearly 90% increased risk of death if they have low testosterone. And today, men in their 20s have the same level of testosterone as men in their late 60s back in the 2000s. So think about that. In in, in, In just 20 years, Our testosterone levels in men have gone so low that a lot of men today in their 20s have the testosterone levels of those of a 60-year-old back 20 years ago. And so we're talking about a massive decline here. In fact, the rates that testosterone levels have dropped is 33% in the past 50 years. And another study found it, uh, you know, we're basically, for a lot of men, they're dropping by 1% or more faster a year than in the past. You can see here on this graphic, testosterone levels in the United States back in 1960 versus in, uh, you know, this was taken in 2015. It's actually continued to decline if you look at the new research. So you see these levels in men continue to drop off. Now, what's interesting is, is that the levels of testosterone have dropped at the greatest level in Western countries. So Western and Eastern Europe, Latin America, Canada, and the U.S. have all been experiencing the same strong decline in testosterone since the 1960s and 80s. And here's the thing, though. They've stayed at the same level of highs in areas like Uzbekistan, Siberia, and Pakistan. So certain areas of the country, I think, where oftentimes masculinity is more prized and maybe there's less uh, toxins in certain areas of the environment, Uh, or in terms of what they're consuming, they have higher levels of testosterone. And you can see here on this chart, the average testosterone by country in the 1980s. You can see there, maroon is good, okay? So that's what you want. Maroon is good, and yellow is bad. Anything getting that yellow or orange. Well, now look at this uh, 
more recently, you can see here, the U.S. went from there all the way down to yellow. And look at Canada, look at Mexico, areas of South America are even worse. So we've seen this continual decline over time. And studies have found that some, and I want to get into now what, why this is happening. One of the main causes is, actually, I'll say there's three causes. Three main causes of why testosterone levels are dropping. One is lack of energy. It's cellular energy. It's organ energy. In Chinese medicine, this is called uh, qi, or, and, and it could also be part of uh, this, this concept called yang. But basically, it's this. When, uh, when you have lack of cellular energy, that's lack of purpose in your life. When you don't have a purpose, that decreases cellular energy. Um, when you are missing certain things in your diet, but the biggest thing is this sleep. When, when we're not living with the natural rhythms of our surroundings, specifically with nature, it throws off our circadian rhythms, our melatonin levels drop, cortisol goes too high, and also testosterone levels will drop. So men, when you look at what they were doing professionally for a great number of years, is men were working outdoors more, right? It was farming, it was hunting, it was repairing things that were broken. It was building. And so throughout history, if you would go back 100 or 200 years ago, I mean, the amount of men that were doing a lot more activities outdoors that were more laborious things where they were using their muscles and, and requiring physical activity was so much higher in the past. Well, now men are sitting at a desk all day inside, not moving, that's going to cause testosterone levels to drop. But a lot of this is cellular energy. Movement actually increases cellular energy. Good sleep, more than anything, sleep will increase cellular energy. Keeping stress levels balanced the way we perceive stress and not having too many things going on constantly, the stress of even phones and light constantly. So, there, so that's one thing causing low testosterone in men is a lack of cellular energy. The second thing is cellular toxicity. Our cells are toxic. And the reason is, is everything from bisphenol A to sphalates, which we're going to get into in a minute. Also, when you look at the chemicals in our food supply, such as glyphosate from, from the chemical Roundup, all of the chemicals we're exposed to on a regular basis, that's causing testosterone to decrease in men. And the third thing is nutritional deficiencies. Uh, lack of zinc, lack of vitamin D, lack of certain phytonutrients in our diet all causes testosterone to decline over time. And so we need to get to the root cause of those three things. Now let's start off here with sphalates. Now studies have found that sphalates block the effects of testosterone on the body's organs and tissues. And there are several, uh, several areas or things that cause us to be exposed to this. Number one is microplastics. Chemicals called sphalates, which are endocrine disrupting and mimic estrogen, are found in common everyday objects such as baby bottles, paint, and cosmetics. But of course, we, we see this in a lot of these plastic things that we're eating out of. If you're drinking out of a water bottle that's too hot and it's plastic, but again, they're, they're paint, it's all over the place. But microplastics is a big one. Here's another one. Hormones in our beef and dairy products. Non-organic Meat and dairy products contain chemicals and hormones. In fact, one study found there are incredibly high levels of estradiol, a type of estrogen, in milk and meat products if they're not organic. And when, when men are exposed to these xeno or phytoestrogens, what it does is it starts to increase your estrogen, giving you more feminine-like qualities, and starts to decrease your testosterone levels. And there's several uh, double-blind studies that show this. Here's another one. Soy, uh, consuming too much soy, also being, uh, being straight vegan. Now, listen, I do want to say this before I get into the study, that veganism... Um, there is a right way to do it, okay? Uh, somebody can be a vegan and he eat higher levels of beans like lentils, which are higher in protein, um, and be doing lots of beans, doing mushrooms, doing certain nuts like Brazil nuts, uh, doing protein powders. Y you know, th there, are, there are ways to help address some of those deficiencies. There's herbals that you can use. We'll get into that at the end. But there's no doubt, generally speaking, 
if you're comparing even the healthiest vegan to the healthiest carnivore or omnivore, uh, the, the omnivore, the carnivore is going to have much higher levels of, of good testosterone and less of the estrogen that men don't want in their bodies, generally speaking. Here's the other thing I just want to mention about soy. Soy is one of the most heavily subsidized crops by the United States government, and it has estrogen-like effects on the human body. Too much soy leads to enlargement of breast tissue in men, water retention, female pattern fat de uh, a de a deposition, and mood swings. This is according to studies. And studies have found that soy isoflavones heighten antisocial behavior in monkeys and appear to feminize male animals in animal studies. So again, we've seen this in animal studies, the negative effects of soy and how it causes them to have more feminine-like qualities. And, and not just that, and by the way, that's not, that's not a good thing because it also decreases their lifespan and increases rates of chronic illness. And so that's, it's incredibly, incredibly negative. Now, here's another chemical we want to stay away from that's really connected to these microplastics, and it's, it's bisphenol A, known as BPA. And this is an anti-androgen and it blocks the normal effects of testosterone within the body. One of the things that can happen in your body when you consume toxic foods, imagine your cell like a circle, okay? And there are little receptor sites all around your cell. So let's say now this is sort of a receptor site. What you wanna have happen is your body should be able to absorb these receptor sites, certain hormones like testosterone or nutrients that are critical to build testosterone like zinc and vitamin D. What happens is if you have bisphenol A and phthalates and other chemicals, heavy metals, they will go and take the place of testosterone and zinc and vitamin D. So now it's taking the place of it. So there's nowhere to go. So now your body is absorbing less of those things it needs, less of it's getting uh, sent to the areas it needs to. And so your body has lower testosterone levels. That's one of the reasons why toxins are so damaging the body is what they do to cellular receptor sites. Now, BPA is found in our water supply. Okay, so if you're not filtering your water using reverse osmosis or some sort of filter, a Berkey filter, using some sort of water filter, you will likely have BPA in your water supply. Also, again, it's found in almost all water bottles or many linings of cans. So if you're eating out of anything plastic, there's a lot of BPAs in there, aluminum cans, optical lenses have them. You'd be surprised all the areas where BPAs are. And BPAs disrupt hormones especially related to the reproductive system inside women as well. So that doesn't only hurt men, it hurts women. And I want to get into some of the consequences of low testosterone. When testosterone counts get too low, men begin to feel fatigued. They lose sexual interest. They gain weight and lose muscle mass. And so if you're a male with any of these symptoms, again, if you're just tired, you just notice you're just, you feel tired all the time. It's, it's likely low testosterone. If you're, you don't have that same libido and sexual desire that you used to have, it's probably low testosterone. If you're starting to gain weight, especially in this visceral section, low testosterone. And if you're just losing muscle mass, you don't, you, you just don't feel strong anymore. It's, it's low testosterone. And this is incredibly negative on so many areas of your body, but also increases heart disease, cancer, diabetes, shortens your lifespan, weak bones. It really puts you at risk in so many ways. And in addition, there is a link between low testosterone levels and depression and mental health issues. So men, you've got to focus on increasing those testosterone levels if you want to be healthy. There's really no choice. Hey, if you liked this, then watch my full episode right here.